What's up everybody, Gaming Gargoyle here, and welcome back to another episode of Farmer's Dynasty. Well guys, the fields that we purchased from the NPCs have come in, so that's two fields of barley, one field of soy on the map, that's the big field here, and the little field for the, soy, or for the barley, and then we got the soy just north of that as well. We'll be storing all the harvest of, of barley into the big silo over here, guys and gals. And as for the soy, we're probably just going to keep it inside the harvester. Now, we already know that the harvester here, guys, uh, goes up to 31 kilometers an hour when uh, it doesn't have the header turned on. And it holds 12,000 uh, kilograms of um, grains. So if we were to use the jack bear that only holds 4200 kilograms of grain trail in the trailer and travels at 23 kilometers 24 kilometers an hour in the jack bear we're going to be losing time so we're just going to keep on using this beautiful new beastie that we got we're going to go ahead harvest it all up guys um tell you what i'll come back after each field is uh, finished harvesting and uh, I'll show you guys what each field brought me. Now, I've gone and done some tests here. Uh, today's date is uh, December 14th. And uh, this is after the rebalancing patch. And uh, the last test that I did with Barley, if you go full pedal metal to the metal through these fields, you will not get the returns. Uh, it will decrease the yield. I'm going to have to test it with all the different types of crops as they come up. So, I have got a lot of work to do guys i'll see you we are back with uh, the first load actually i figured we're probably not going to get too many loads out of these fields being that they came from the mpcs so we're just going to take a look and see what we get on this one so far was the twelve thousand uh, kilograms um first 100 percent of the field here is done we now have uh, twelve thousand in the silo and we have another 10,805 in here. So not bad for our first round, 22,805 kilograms. So that uh, makes me a happy man. So guys, I'm going to meet you over at Clara's and uh, I'll see you there. Yeah, I'm just finishing up Miss Clara's field here. It looks like we've got uh, just shy of 8,000 on this field. So that's that's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. I've uh, got a little bit of uh, left down on the end there, but that's okay. We can come back and pick that up right now. So I'm not sure how many bales we're going to get off of here. It doesn't really matter too much at the prices that they go for. It's just a real good time waster while I'm waiting for the other um, uh, crops to come in right now. So we'll just get the last little this tiny bit so that way the whole field is complete and uh, we can say that we got 7,823 kilograms off Clara's field. So yeah, I'm pretty sure guys that the uh, the amounts through the canola is going to be a lot better than that. So uh, I'm going to keep sticking with the canola guys and um, when I come back I'll be starting, or no, I'll tell you what, when I come back I will have the canola completely finished. How's that? That's that field, 100% finished. Woohoo! So, soy prices, guys, we didn't get very much. As you can see, we only got 3,994 for that field. Not a very big field, but at the same time, that's even a smaller yield, so... I like my canola. I think we're going to be sticking with growing the canola for a while here. Don't have to worry about coming behind it. Wrapped up bales like you do for the wheat and barley. Um, I do have a field of grass. Let's, uh, how about we go over there and take a look at it, shall we? Uh, food, yeah, we can eat one food. And if we take a look at the grass field right over here, it is ready to harvest. So we could uh, probably get that started as well. Now, guys, I'm only going to keep the grass for the cows, um, but the rest of the straw and that, yeah, we can sell that off. So that's what I'm going to be working on. I'm going to be working straight on into the night, guys. You guys don't want to see that. Um, let's take a look right now. We have in the piggy bank. 142,643 social points and $19,751.85. Let's see what we can do with the baler and getting that brought up to, uh, well, maybe we might even reach 19.9. Um, <laughs> the bales don't sell for very much at all, guys. All right, so. And starting mowing the field here over across from the, uh, the bale market and that. So we're just going to go on through, get ourselves up some nice little hay for our cows, take care of us for a while. 
I'm um, pretty sure this is going to grow back in about another 20 days or whatever it is there. So let's just take a quick look at it. Yeah, so grass is a good thing. It's uh, about 400 kilograms worth of food, whereas the straws were 200 kilograms worth of food. And uh, it's, it's pretty easy, guys. You just go along here with your mower. You mow all the grass down, as you can see from behind us. It leaves a nice little trail. You come driving over it with the baler. Gives yourself some nice green hay bales. So a big difference in between the straw and the uh, the, the hay. There is the, uh, the coloring, so you can't mess those up. Uh, I believe they do sell for a little bit more at the market, but I'm going to uh, hold on to as many as I can. So that way I don't have to worry about it anymore for a while, guys. We're going to uh, send in the uh, hired workers to come over here and uh, to actually just take care of this and plow it right up as soon as I get it all taken off, bailed up, and put in the barn. So when I come back, guys, it's going to be a couple of days later in game, and uh, I should have all the other fields that we planted ready to harvest. Ooh, next morning, let's go take a look at the fruits of our labor for all the bales that received. So that one little field, it resulted in quite a few bales. Like, I mean a lot. A um, little bit jiggly, a little bit jello-y. You know, we, we need to let them dry, apparently. Um, but from that one little field right here. 0.87 hectares. I think I got enough bales to last me a very long time, so when it comes to the point of buying equipment, I think the baler and trailers are going to be last. Um, for now, I it's next morning, so I gotta wait a few days here for like our crops to come in, so it's just gonna be a couple more days, thank goodness. Just a short zip for me, and a real quick cutscene for you. Meanwhile, our cucumbers have already fully grown, so we're going to take those. Plant some chili seeds. Well, here we go. We are just starting the, uh, the bit of the harvest. But as you can see, all the crops aren't all the way in. It is uh, June the 16th. So a couple of these home farms around here are like this. So I'm just going to do an outer perimeter, guys. And when I come back, we will see how much money we've made from the harvest of all the fields. While I was waiting here, guys, I noticed something. So over the last couple of days, while I've been waiting for the harvesters to work on the fields, I've noticed that these flowers in the back have gone dry, but these roses in front here always stay wet. Let's go check out the other hives now, shall we? See if there's been any change in those. So yeah, while I've been doing all this harvesting and stuff like that, guys, I've been letting Janet collect all the eggs and milk and all that if she hasn't done it. Then we haven't got it done. Ooh, I missed a quick spot here of the string trimmer. We'll do that too. Might as well make the farm look all nice and pretty. There we go. So let's take a look at these ones. Okay, now that's interesting. Okay, so as you can see, the two on the left say that they're withered and dry, but re or yet the other six, one, two, three, five, seven, uh, look like they're fine. Okay, that makes me have a gut feeling that... This set of hives over here, they're all going to be dry. I think that was something I noticed when I was doing the string trimming. Yeah, they are dry. So, it doesn't look like the wife is going to get the hives this far. It does look like they get them over there. Um, let's see what we get over here. Okay, well, it does look like she's taking care of these ones as well. Oh, and there's some honey together. So, yeah, there you go. I did it, so now you know it. We made it, folks. We now have a total of $327,950.15 in the bank with 144,323 social points. No, I haven't been keeping up with the social points or the uh, chores. I've been letting Janet go ahead and do that, guys. We're going to see what uh, the wifey does. Um, haven't been keeping track of it at all. We are here to make some purchases guys i think this is the lowest that we're going to get for prices so let's get ourselves the big old trailer the flagel bull it has a capacity of 32,000 kilograms we're going to buy that for fifteen thousand two hundred dollars we're going to buy ourselves the large cultivator This is the Amazon KG4000. The price for it that we're going to pay here without the social points is 9600 
Next up on our list is uh, this fertilizer. Now, this is the Amazon ZAM1501. Um, I like this one, and I think it was because it had a bigger spread than the other um, fertilizer that had a, it was a very large tank on it, if I remember right. Um, it's red, it's got wheels. Uh, this one just goes on the very back of the tractor. Um, the uh, 135 horsepower tractor is amazing for using it, so capacity 3000. For the uses that I get out of it, we're going to make this purchase. And, well, if you haven't guessed it already, guys, yes, we are going to purchase the Lindner Geotrack 134 uh, EP tractor. Uh, engine base horsepower 144, fuel tank 145, transmission is a CVT, it's a something variable transmission. Uh, but we're picking it up for the low, low price of 72000 USD. Moving on over, our farm can't be complete without some proper bale equipment, guys. So we're going to pick up both of these uh, Flagel ZPWs. Um, this trailer here goes for $8,800. Of course, that's going to have to go for the price of twice because we're buying two. Now, that baling, it's got to be done. So we're going to get the square baler, guys, the new one. This one is 25,600 US dollars. No farm is complete <laughs> without a cedar. Ha <laughs> ha, fooled ya. Right here guys, this is the Seed Drill Amazon D9 4000, price of 12,000 US dollars, has a seeding capacity of 860 kilograms. Coming back over to the plow. And it is the Lemming J17. It's low, low prices for er, 22,400 US dollars. Now this is a big boy plow, so we need a big boy tractor. This is the custom CX type tractor. Now this goes for about $96,000 with an engine base power, base horsepower of 180, fuel tank of 160, transmission is the CVT times two. This is now ours. Whoo, well folks, that was a lot of vehicles, but guess what? There's more. We still have barley left in our silo, so we gotta fill this up here guys. And gals, then we're going to take it to the old mill here. This is going to be our very first drop off here at the mill. And it is a poultry price, guys. Take a look at this. So get your trailer pulled up, hit the stop, go into the map, we're down here. And right now the prices are, come on. 459 a ton so we're not even going to get 15 grand out of this all right so there we go there's the tipping mechanism here at the mill like i said if your trailer's sliding a little bit when you come to a complete stop just wiggle your wheels back and forth uh, usually that works out really really well uh so it's nice guys we're going to have some more money so that way in tomorrow's episode we can go ahead and buy some more fields, take uh, some time and uh, while the workers are working away at harvesting those fields, making more money, buying more fields, we'll just slowly in between bring all the equipment home, get them all painted up, looking all good in gargoyle style. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I greatly appreciate you being here. Appreciate all the likes, the comments have blown up. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, shout out to all the good uh, dad jokes and mom jokes and that in the in the comments. Thank you so much for all the compliments. I am really enjoying it, guys. Greatly appreciate it. How much longer can I drag this out to get this load emptied? Um, there we go. So we're done. Fifty nine thousand seven hundred fifty one dollars. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed making this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next uh, yeah that's my driving episode later